So now that you understand the concept of the state machine, we will build a bot which is going to use the concept of the vending machine and we are just going to call it Wendy and I think that it's probably the simplest way to get started with Dialogflow CX and when I say the simplest way I mean that it's the simplest way where you have a Dialogflow CX bot which is actually built uh, using all the Dialogflow CX features. You can build much simpler like FAQ bots and things like that which don't even have like state changes but that's not really a use case for Dialogflow CX. In that case you could as well just stick to the old version of Dialogflow ES which has a very generous free tier and is much less uh, expensive. So the bot that we are going to build is going to be called Wendy. It's a vending machine bot and the only unit of currency that it accepts is a quarter that is the vending machine which is uh, a quarter is 25 cents as you know and there are three products like we saw before you can get a Snickers for 25 cents you can get a Twix for 50 cents or you can get a Kit Kat for 75 cents and the user can say the following phrases okay this is the list of phrases that the user can say and what we support they can either say add a quarter which is their intent is to add a 25 cents coin into the vending machine then they can ask what is my balance and it's going to tell them how much money they have uh, inserted into the machine what can i get with my balance in this case it is going to tell them the different products which they can buy using the balance they have and they can select one of the three products by saying give me a Snickers, give me a Twix or give me a Kit Kat. And finally they can also say return or refund my balance. So these are the different uh, phrases or you can say these are the different things that the user can say to the Wendy bot and it has to perform actions according to whatever the user has said.